Hello, everybody. It's Leo here with the Cohen Group at Keller Williams Realty. I'm here at 1928 Blue Stem Lane in Linden, Washington. As you can see over here, at the middle school. So let's take a look at the outside of the house really quickly. Large two car garage with a bonus room above. It's a great use of space. Got the nice exposed cedar beams, nicely manicured lawns. Okay, let's go take a look inside. Quality door, huge heavy door, six panes. Awesome, awesome. Now if we walk through, we have engineered hardwood. So you guys can see throughout, well laid. It's important to lay your engineered hardwood well because it can, if you go cheap on it, you, it can end up peeling or bursting the seams or breaking the seams. I mean, you can see this is done really well. I'll get a little closer. There we go, that didn't really help too much. Okay, so we've got the front half bath. So for when you have guests over, you're entertaining them out here, and you can use the bathroom here. Nice open concept here. I know that's a buzzword in real estate. We've got a fireplace, vaulted ceilings. So you're gonna get a lot of light when the sun rises. There's a lot of nice windows, large windows. We're seeing that in a lot of new homes open kitchen. So I'm actually over in the corner, directly across from the garage, I'm walking towards the kitchen. So you've got um, some marble, stainless appliances, high-end cabinets. They did not go cheap on this house. It's a beautiful house. So I'm walking back towards the laundry room here. So there's no appliances right now, but you have a nice spacious laundry room with composite tiles. Uh, a large two-car garage. You can see there's the two-car uh, the mechanisms over there, uh, but you've also got a little bit extra space on the edges, so that's really good for if you want storage space um, on the outside of your cars. Now we've got kind of a mud room area. Closet for where you want to hang your coat, but also could be used as a pantry or you could use this, so if you are looking back at the kitchen, more storage space, pantry over there, but you've got a lot of cabinet space, so the need for a pantry may not be necessary on this, because you've got a lot of cabinet space. Cool, let's go upstairs. So you've got a nice flight of stairs, not too steep. This is where the carpet begins, and so, all of the living is upstairs except for the main. So the master's on the main in this. So when we're outside, we're looking at this uh, bonus room above the garage. Here we are. So this could be a playroom, TV room, exercise room. You know, the possibilities are endless with this. And I, I really like seeing this in new construction because it's a good use of space of the garage. And some homes, they don't even finish them, but it, it's nice that they finished it in this one. So here is one of the smaller bedrooms. This is looking back out at the front. And with this house, the cool thing is, right across there, that is the uh, new elementary school. And so the good news about that is that that's not gonna be built on and there's just gonna be kids running around. So it's, um, it's actually really nice that you don't have to see more construction across the street. Okay. So here is a full bath upstairs that's shared between um, the Two bedrooms upstairs. This is maybe where you put your kids to hide them away so you don't have to hear them running around all the time. And this is looking back on the backyard. So you've got no fence yet, but fence could be built. Um, a lot of the fences in this area are cedar fences. They're really nice. They're, they're, they're aesthetically pleasing. You're not too close to your neighbor, which is nice too. And a lot of the times that we see in developments, is we see homes that are too close together and it's great because it's a beautiful home. Problem is you're too close to your neighbors. So th this lot is actually, I think 8,000 8, square feet. So it's a good size lot. Okay, 
We're back to the front door. There's the kitchen. Coats, extra storage. Lots of storage in this house, which is cool. So here's the master bedroom here. Master is on the main, which is great. It's separated from where the kids' rooms are or the other rooms are. Teenagers, doesn't matter. You want to separate yourself from everybody. It's nice. So you've got a nice, nice size master bath and bedroom. Lots of light. Again, you're going to get nice light in the morning. Okay. So it's about twice the size of the two other bedrooms. Master bathroom. This is probably one of my favorite features of the house. So you've got your his and her sink. Nice space in between you and your spouse or your significant other because you know it can get uh, can get kind of uh, testy in the bathroom sometimes if there's not enough space. So this is my favorite feature of the entire house, and I'd love to hear any comments that anybody has on these. Um, so you've got the overhead shower, which is great. Um, it's a you know, it's not the most efficient thing in the world, but it's great. They're really, really nice. So you've got three tiers for setting your um, soap and your shampoo. You've got a removable shower head that's got a couple different options. They really went high end on it, so you guys can tell that. So you've got your tub. I think this is composite. Yeah, it's a composite tub with high end fixtures. As you can see, they did not go cheap on this house. Okay. One of the things I see in an open concept bathroom a lot of the times is they're gonna leave, they leave the toilet open, there's no door. And for me, I don't know about you guys, but I think it's kind of weird to have your toilet out in the open if someone else is in the bathroom. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but I would prefer to have it like this. So it's, it's already done. And last but not least, a large, decent size, at least, uh, walk-in closet. So this, for me, this is the best part of the house. I think that uh, having that ensuite bathroom, larger ba uh, master, step-in shower, tub, um, I think that that is the way to go, and with a separated toilet. So, I will be here from one to three, answering any questions about anything to do with real estate, whether it's just basic questions about what's the market like, different specific areas if you're not in the area, interest rates, this beautiful home, specific questions on this, private tours, anything like that. Uh, again, one to three, I'll be here. Um, like I said, I'm here as a resource if anybody has any questions. Have a great Saturday, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Adios.